was only just enough on that, or was that? It's unselfish from Le Somme, and it's in. Uchebe couldn't make it. Le Somme with the presence of mind to play the pass. And Bompastor side in front. Cascarino taking the congratulations of her teammates. And it was the ball back by Araujo that didn't quite have enough on it. But Lussonnet, as I say, unselfish to find Cascarino, who still, by the way, had a lot to do. Chebe just couldn't quite keep it out. Oh, lovely ball in the rim behind. And Alidou! Benfica on terms on the night. And it's their top scorer in the Champions League this season. Who's turned that over the line. And what a reaction this has been from the Portuguese champions. What a pass that is. It got Lucia Alves in behind them. And then turned home by Alidou. Fantastic ball to pick her out. And that's exactly what I was talking about earlier on in the game. If you can get Lucia out. Cascarino with Diani to her right. Cascarino goes alone! Stunning goal! Fantastic strike by Cascarino. Her second of the night, but that one is special, isn't it? What a return to fitness it's been. Out for so long with that ACL injury. And how sweetly struck was that? Had a look round, didn't she? And maybe didn't feel there was much on in terms of a pass, so decided to go alone. And that is sheer quality from Casca. Just about managed to prevent the shot on goal. Dumornay with the header wide. Another ball into the box towards Haran. And the knockdown was good, and Diani makes absolutely sure. There's no doubt now. Leon heading through safely now to the semi-finals. Diani with the third on the night. And their fifth goal of the tie. Really good ball over, wasn't it? And the knockdown right into the path. Well, of they the pushed them all the way in the reverse fixture in the group stage. Came off Diani. And there's a real element of fortune about that one. And it's a shame, really, from a Benfica point of view. But Leon have a fourth on the night. A bit of a gift, that one. And it came in the sixth minute of added time. Scoreline just perhaps feels a little unfair. Spitzer, when she's not on the ball, the guidance she brings. Hard movements in all sorts of directions dictating the play. But here's Ramirez, she's in, she scores for Chelsea. On a European debut for the Blues. A first European goal for Mara Ramirez. And with the chances Ajax have had at one end, whatever nerves there may have been, surely they have settled now and Chelsea are on their way to the semi-finals. Great pressure, and Ramirez in this sort of position. There is only going to be one outcome.
Perfect way to pass. Out of her feet. Teddy Hoekstra. Oh, three goes for Grant. She scores. Ajax do have a goal to celebrate. And for Chesity Grant. A great moment for her here at Stamford Bridge. And Ajax have leveled the score on the night. And one back in the tie. It's a great run. It's a super pass to find her. And straight through Musovic. Chazity Grant. Adds to a couple of goals that she's got. To do it down the side. To always go through the middle. And Brand have stuck to that philosophy. Even if it has invited pressure onto them. And there's more pressure here. Coming from Aitana Bonmati. Aitana! It could only last so long. And the world's best player does it again. Aitana Bonmati opens up breathing space for Barcelona. And 23 minutes of sustained second leg pressure has told. Well, again. It was the difficulty in distributing that hurt the Norwegian side. Knew exactly what she wanted to do here, Aitana Bonmati. Here they are. Heading for their ninth title, Aitana. Graham Hansen. She's got around Brockberg, London, Tindela. And it's Graham Hansen. Oh, it could have gone anywhere. Oh, it's a horrible one to concede for Brent. And Friedlina Rolfa tucks it away. And despite a mad six-yard box scramble, it is another goal for the European champions at one that surely now seals their spot in another semi-final. Malatana well, again trying to pull the strings and Graham Hansen so often... The moment that Brown had been waiting for. Tamina Spenheim, freshly on the pitch, waiting for the ball to be delivered to her. And she found it right in the far corner. The moment she will never forget. Sina Gobson, talisman at times in this competition for Brown. She was the one to lay the ball on. The moments of the light for the top city inside. Aitana. Ahead of Graham Hansen and Svenholm has got the pace to recover. And Graham Hansen the skill to win it back. And to get away maybe. It's still Graham Hansen. Aitana! And in by Patrick Ihara. They'll look across to the flag, it hasn't come. And Barcelona are cruising into the Champions League semi-finals in style. Three on the night, five over the two legs. And the holders will be pushing on into the final four. And there has just been nothing that the travelling side from Norway have been able to do. Graham Hansen spinning, twisting away from Svenheim. Rode the challenge well of Ritter. Aitana had the first effort, no question of offside in the end. Again. Right now, in the fan zone, on the own mobile or web app. Katota forward to Chewinga. Chewinga strike! And she scores! She scored in the away leg! And she's given Paris Saint-Germain their opener in the second leg of this quarter-final. Katota with the pass. Chewinga with the strike. 
It is Paris Saint-Germain one, Hercan nil. Well, there was an arm raised. By comes back to the Danish international with Luggy Alberts. Low shot from her, and she scores a left footed strike from the American Paris Saint Germain. Surely now know that they're in the Champions League semi final. Corbin Alberts. From 25 yards out. To make it PSG 2. Herken nil. They're now 4-1 up on aggregates. Against Bayern Munich. Confirmed that they would finish as group leaders. Heading into the last four. Kashawika Toto's header. 3-0 PSG. Well, she was not going to be denied. Other chances in this second half. That one goes in. Paris Saint-Germain now 3-0 up here at the Parc de Prince leading 5-1 on aggregates. 